The series was filmed on the Podaflay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West. Here, three design teams were given the chance to decorate identical white box penthouse apartments. The winning duo will walk away with exposure and sizable prize money. And one lucky viewer will win the apartment of their choice. Team R&K of Rikupile Belebesi and Koketso Marule are intent on taking top honors. Welcome to our space. What an amazing feature. Is this why you guys won the kitchen and lounge challenge? You said it. <laughs> <laughs> what is the focus here? It's an open plan set up where the kitchen and the lounge sort of flow into each other. We thought absolute ultimate sophistication is imperative. There's amazing natural light. You don't want to lose that. And uh, functionality. Unlike the other groups, you guys only met three months before the competition and you instantly bonded because of your love of design. What sets you guys apart? I think the fact that we were learning each other as we were going along, that really helped us a lot. And combining the two different aesthetics, because I'm more minimalistic and industrial, and then she's very sophisticated. So like bringing the two together just, I mean, magic. <laughs> That's what we created. Yeah, yeah. A unique narrative of design, you know, coming together and that's exactly what you see. It translates in the space when you walk in. Okay, so you're an interior designer and it's always important to develop your own styles and techniques. How did you strategize the space and how can we see your unique signature in here? I love black, I love greys, and I think that's what we predominantly used in the space. But the use of steel, wood, you know, your natural raw elements, and the concrete ceiling. I mean, that, that for me was a winner and we just had to play with it and that's what we did. Their take on the master suite is dominated by a vast floral canvas. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Aesthetically, this is amazing, but it must have been quite the risk to bring this here. What made you decide to go with this piece? This young lady called Emma Norse, I mean, I saw her work and I thought, we have to have that. Somehow, in that apartment, it needs to be in there. She basically uses different textures on this canvas fabric and puts it together in such a way that it echoes feminine, it echoes strength. It's also soft, but also has like dark colors, so there's a bit of edge. So yeah, no, we, we love, love, love this piece very much. <laughs> Apart from the work of art, walk me through the other features in this room. It's a master bedroom. We want to create a mood. Mm -hmm. And we thought, um, how else can we do that with lighting? Mm -hmm. And we can't get lighting in here without like a bulkhead. It creates all the mood that a uh, master yes. bedroom needs. Yeah, and we could not do an apartment without some sort of African representation. And I always believe that skulls have a great way of doing so. But of course, as you can see, we didn't leave it dull and very earthy. We brought in some color into it to make it modern and contemporary. Wow, you guys have really undone yourself. And this view is really gonna make an SMEC viewer a very happy winner. What do you love most about this estate? It's very close to the beach. And of course, if you love animals, it's very close to the Shita Century as well. And of course, our favorite, the Lionel Smith Gallery. It's right here on Part of Play. As supporters of local artists, Rikupile and Koketo were inspired to have the studio of this renowned painter and sculptor on their doorstep for inspiration. His process is adaptive, inventive and engaging. Just what this design team seemed to have achieved. They needed to, as their competition includes the dynamic Melissa Oosthuizen and Sinead oh, wow. Turner. I've seen the before pictures, but this place looks phenomenal. <laughs> Where does your love for interior design come from? Well, I think for us, our love for interior design actually comes from our hearts. Being the water signs that we are, we are very holistic and we love the idea of designing spaces that are both functional as well as very pleasing and healthy for the human being to exist in. So lots of greenery, lots of different aspects such as smells, touch, taste, tangibility, so that there's a lot of functionality within the space. You guys are the Perma Peeps, that's your duo name. What is permaculture and how has it been incorporated into this phenomenal space? Permaculture for us is, it's essentially trying to design with closed systems in mind. If you think about nature, it's all cycles where the waste from one ends up facilitating and feeding the next process. So nothing is actually wasted in natural ecosystems. So it's trying to design your home space to make use of the waste instead of just 
wasting, I guess. So for us, I mean, with our permaculture principles, we've brought a lot of greenery into the space for human health and well-being, oxygen production. We've got quite a few different recycling and composting options. And it's really trying to design a space that's healthy for people and healthy for the environment simultaneously, because we, the one can't function without the other. This whole space seems to just interact seamlessly. What was your vision for it? Being South African, outside cooking is a big thing. So really from the kitchen, keeping it open plan with no formal set in place island allows you to flow through to the living space and then work with the outside area so that this, this whole area just becomes an eating, relaxing, entertaining, engaging space. Sinead comes from corporate design, but she's adapted to home interiors like a fish to water. Wow. Guys, I can definitely see why you won the challenge. What do you think sets this room apart from the other design duo's master bedrooms? Sinead and I put a lot of thought into this space and you know, being your master bedroom, a space where you need to come and sleep and switch off and calm down, we had to have it that it wasn't overstimulating. So we really pushed for muted, soft, natural tones and bringing in a lot of sort of gentle aesthetics of African nature, textures, and yeah, we just wanted to have a very sanctuary-like, comfortable, relaxing space that you could just come and switch off in at the end of the day. I can see how the perma aesthetic comes through with the stone side tables, the plants, and it moves so beautifully into the bathroom. Yeah, well, with our bathroom, we had used reclaimed slate tiles. So when we found these boulders side tables, it was a must for us to use because it just worked so well for that transition. And with our DIY headboard, we used a velvet fabric, which has a more moss mottled look, which also fits with our moss balls in our bathroom. So it's bringing that natural element in a much more subtle, comfortable way. A uniquely African attraction on the doorstep of the estate is the Cheetah Outreach, where you get close to these cats whilst helping save our wild cheetahs. It got our doctor thinking how much he'd enjoy being a vet too. Oh, guys, if I was one of the lucky winners, I'd be here all day long. So Team Puma Peeps, you did a phenomenal job and thank you so much for taking me here. This was a nice little treat. <laughs> awesome, Pleasure. thanks for coming. Guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. The third team competing for this year's top honors are friends Kihumile Mate and Nicholas Smith. They met at Design College and always wanted to join creative forces. What? <laughs> what oh, a man. transformation. Welcome. Are you good? <clears throat> good on you. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I love what you've done with the place. What inspired the use of this kind of decor? How we initially saw this space is a space that brings different elements together that you would think should contrast, you know what I mean? Like different heritages, different colors, different finishes and textures together. And that sparked up a whole mesh kind of theme in the whole space that we try to bring through with everything that's kind of woven and the woven textures. We have a whole net hammock structure going in. The collaboration for the lounge challenge with the woven recycled plastic bags coming in. And Afrolicious was quite an intense theme that we wanted to push, which is fusing natural tones and um, pastel tones together and kind of bringing in our personal edginess and edgy style into the whole design because it is a competition after all. Why would you want to be safe? I love double volume apartments. Apart from the natural light, how else have you maximized on this space? We played with um, different levels um, to kind of entertain the volume. Uh, so we've done like the, the living plant um, structure above the kitchen. Um, and then we also did the hammock above the lounge. Um, and then this art piece behind me also kind of plays with um, that volume and also the rounded edges and stuff uh, counteract the, the edginess of, of this plane. Um, and then also like the structure for our, our hanging plant garden also has like a mechanism that runs up the wall and also kind of breaks different colors and, and entertains that volume. And, and... and it's actually an art piece in its own, you know what I mean? Wow, this artwork actually looks like a dream catch and it brings so much life into this room. It definitely does. Glad you like it though because <laughs> there's a lot of hard work in there. I love this dark wooden ceiling. Oh, that was such a, a fun element for us and we kind of took it on as a, a bit of a DIY project. Um, it's a 
technique of sealing wood, a Japanese technique called sosugiban, um, and it's where you burn the surface of the wood and that, that seals it and, and preserves it from outside elements. Um, we use it in this space just to bring a lot of warmth in and that natural, natural texture. Um, so that is above the bed, kind of making that ceiling interesting and then it wraps down with the built-in cupboards um, as like a black wrap um, to bring that kind of warmth and comfort into our space. Harmony couldn't resist the temptation to try the Spider-Man approach to lounging about. Yeah, Supreme Boots. Oh, wow, this is a bit scary. Okay, <laughs> this is actually quite comfortable. Ah, oh, we're super glad you like it. <laughs> but actually, like, we just heard that people are going to the beach. We might need to leave you. Well, I'm all good here, man. <laughs> Whoever wins this year's viewers' competition gets to own their choice of the three penthouses. With living here comes access to nearby Strand Beach with its warm and inviting water. As for the design teams, our visit was a rare opportunity to relax in what's been three months of proving their mettle to both the judging panel and the TV audience. Their careers will be transformed after this. Guys, now that I have all of you here, I mean, how has this whole experience been? It's almost like walking down memory lane. It's so cool to get a blank canvas like this on such a big scale and, and to display to so many people uh, what we're capable of doing. It is crazy. All our thoughts and ideas are right there in front of you. Like, wow. <laughs> For us, we have poured so much of our love and hearts and souls and passion into this that we feel like it's our own home, really. We love it so much in this area. I mean, you just, you can't get enough. It's, it's been so special, like basically a dream, really. See which viewer wins the Winner Home Grand Prize and which design duo's apartment they choose. Catch the grand finale on Thursday evening, right here on SABC3.